just <laughs> met these guys here, wonderful guys. Uh, just explain. The guys came down from the US, yes? The US. VSO. VSO. The, the way? We're from VSO. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> Not from the US, I'm from the Netherlands originally. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I come in, um, I'm coming out of Toronto, but um, I, I'm a former from formerly Dynamics as well. Um, so we're from basically two organizations. There's VSO, Voluntary Service Organized Overseas. Um, they're British based. And there's CUSO, which really doesn't stand for anything. Um, CUSO is a Canadian organization, but they both do the same thing. And what they do is they send volunteers overseas, so Asia, Africa, South America, um, and they work in different areas, so health, uh -huh. education, um, micro enterprises. In Ghana, we're working with six women's group. Um, wow. they're, they're involved in agro processing, so they're based in regions one, two, and nine. And Can so you elaborate a little bit more about the, what is it that they do? Sure. Um, so these are groups that are formed by women, um, grassroots women, rural women, and mm -hmm. um, what they do is they process fruits, um, vegetables, and the whole idea is to create sustainable livelihoods for themselves mm -hmm. and their communities. Um, so in region two, in region two, for example, we have Pomeroon Women's Group, which is one of the more successful ones. Right. And um, their flagship product is hot sauce. So they buy peppers from farms around. Uh -huh. um, they make hot sauce, they package it, nicely packed in a bottle. Is it labeled? It is labeled. Yeah. It's in some of the supermarkets across Guyana as well. Yeah. Um, so that's one of their products. They what is their label name? Pomeroon Delight. Pomeroon Delight. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Um, they do virgin coconut oil, which is probably the first of its kind in Guyana. Um, they actually won an award, a Caribbean award for that pro product. And it was developed for a US-based co uh, manufacturer of cosmetics. Awesome. So she came down to Guyana looking for virgin coconut oil to put in her cosmetics. Couldn't find it anywhere, spoke to the government guys, and they suggested that she speak to the Pomeroon women. And they played around with the formulations and bingo came up with virgin coconut oil. Um, and so that's how that came into being. Um, they also do achars, um, so mango achars. Um, they do a fruit mix that is used for cake. Right. Okay. Black cake at Christmas time. Is this right. all packaged under the same? This is all packaged the under the same name. Um, and these are all available in some of your supermarkets. And you guys teach them how to market um, this product we, and get it yes, out there? Yes, we work with them in terms of Helping them to keep records, helping them to do costing, helping them to develop labeling, mm -hmm. packaging, um, helping them to distribute their products across the mm -hmm. um, We help them with food and drug certification for their premises. We help them with food handle certificate because individually they need to be certified as well uh, because they're handling food products. Um, so that's the Pomeroon group, that's in Region 2. We're here in Region 1, and we have two groups in Region 1. What um, are their specialties? There's one called Blue Flame, which is right on that hill where we just came from. Right. And they make cocoa sticks. Um, Among other things. Cocoa sticks is one of the products. They also do fruit mix for cakes. Mm -hmm. They do cassava biscuits, um, so cassava bread. But um, the, the, right. the smaller the small ones. ones. Yeah, like the biscuits. Yeah. Um, they do coffee, and I've got coffee here. This is supposed wow. to be one of the best coffee around. And See that label right there? Um, this is probably not the final What's label. We've just kind of, they've just played around with this. But, but it's labeled. Yeah, but it's labeled. Yeah. Um, one of his strength is marketing, labeling, and all of that. So we're going to work on this for them and develop this. But what we like to do is to have them come up with a concept and, you will, you and then we'll refine it. Rather than we do a label and say, here's a label. You know, we want to get them to take all women. To be creative. Yeah. All, all women. All women, women power. Right? And these are women who, many of them have never gone to secondary school. Okay. Some of them yeah. haven't even gone to finish primary education. Wow. Right? 
Um, but they're business minded. But they're business minded, and uh, yeah. and they, they want to earn, and they want to send their kids to school, and they want to support their families and all of that. Can you show us the cocoa stick if you have one? Um, unfortunately, just the I, yes, I just got the coffee because okay. um, I wasn't really interested in the cocoa sticks. Okay. I was here about three weeks ago and I picked up a batch of cocoa sticks okay. that I still have. So. Okay. Um, but if you guys are going that way, you can stop in. They're actually right now preparing for Guy Expo, which is Guyana's largest trade show. Okay. I saw that. Happens, October 3rd. Happens yeah. 3rd of October. Yeah. So if you go in there, you'll see them um, putting together cocoa sticks. Under the same name. Coffee under yeah. the same name. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right? Good. Um, so that's Blue Flame. Then up the Winey River, mm -hmm. so it's not... Um, on mm. land. We have another group that's called um, Whiny Naturals. Mm. That's driven by a husband and wife beer. Okay. And they make crab wood oil. Okay. Um, I'm not sure whether you guys are familiar with crab wood oil. I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with it. Um, it's, uh... Crab wood oil has nothing to do with crabs. <laughs> and I keep telling them that's not a nice name if you want to go overseas. <laughs> um, so there's the crab wood tree. And the tree uh, bears this nuts. Right. So the nuts would fall, and then there's a process of gathering, boiling, drying, extracting the pulp, and then putting it in the sun, and you extract the oil. So um, it's called crab wood oil. It's supposedly good for a whole lot of things, because it's an Amerindian thing. Um, I've had Amerindian people say to me they give it to babies, teaspoon to drink. Mm -hmm. Um, it's repeatedly very good as a repellent. Right. Um, it's good for soft and moist skin, so the ladies love it. <laughs> um, so it's good for your hair, dry scalp. Very good explanation on, yeah. on, on, on that. Um, so that's crab wood oil. Then they do um, crab wood oil soup. So coming out of that, oh. they make a soap as well. Again, it's good for scalp, with nice mm. clean skin, and healthy body, mm -hmm. and everything else that goes with it. And then they um, they recently moved into the cream as well. Oh. Um, so they do a cream, um, and lots of our volunteers have used it. Women absolutely love it. Um, soft skin, sexy glowing faces, and all the nice stuff. Wow! Um, so no more no more stuff coming. That's like a natural. And these are all that's natural from, stuff. Yeah. Um, coming from the, right here in Ghana. It's right yeah. out from the tree, straight into the bottle, right? Um, made by women. Made by women. Exactly, right? Um, so those are the products that are done by the Winey Group. Mm. So that's region one and two. If we move, so that's in the north of Guyana. Mm. So we're going to move all the way south to Letem. And we're going to stop in, um, so if you're coming through the, if you're driving through Georgetown to Letem, mm -hmm. so you're going to leave, you're going to come through Linden, you're going to come through the Aircrama con Conservation Area. Uh -huh. um, just as you get out there, um, Woweta Village is there. And one of our groups are there as well, our women, entirely women as well. They do um, farine, which is their big product. Farine is a product when you grate the cassava and you take the, uh, the grated stuff and you parch it in a big It's very pan. popular in the uh, African culture. They eat that a lot. And the Brazilian culture as well. Yes. So and it, with yogurt as a dessert. Exactly. Yeah. So they begin to farine, um, they do some casri, they do cassava bread, um, they do something that's called tapioca, which is sort of a that's cassava something. starch, and it's good for porridge as well. Mm -hmm. um, not a fan of that. Um, as you go a little bit further down, there is Aranaputa, which, which is about two miles away from Oveto as well. Um, not a women's group as, uh, that we work with. And all they do is peanuts. Peanut butter. Wow. So they get peanuts from the farmers, they bring it in, um, they make peanut butter, and they sell that to the local market, to the local community. Mm -hmm. uh, the big market for them is, there's a program that's called the School Feeding Program, mm -hmm. where the government provides a snack for secondary school kids, mm -hmm. and, and I think primary kids as well, mm -hmm. in the hinterland communities. Wow. So these guys will That's do, the first. Yeah, they'll do the peanut butter, and they'll do a cassava biscuit, and they'll do a fruit juice, and they'll provide that to the school kids. 
um, and the government subsidized. Well, and these subsidized. women are also women that who hasn't finished school, went further than primary school. A whole lot that. of them have And they're supplying the system, the school system, with their snacks and Absolutely, and absolutely. So, um, so that's been going on for a while. Um, and of course, you have a lot of farmers are benefiting because they're planting they're the peanuts. They're buying and they're getting um, it sold. So it's, it's that ripple mm -hmm. effect across your communities. As you move into Letham, we have another group there that's called uh, Helping Hands. I've heard of that. They've been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, they do the roasted cashew nuts, mm -hmm. roasted peanuts. Mm -hmm. They do some peanut butter as well. They do some um, honey. Um, they do some casri and um, they do a little bit of pepper sauce as well. Mm -hmm. uh, again, women's group, mm -hmm. um, run by women, organized by women, managed by women. So, so those are the six groups that we're working on. Um, what we've been trying to do of recent is to expand those groups. And that's one of the reasons why Sebastian is here. So well, Sebastian, one of my questions for you also is from hearing that there's a diverse amount of things that you guys cornered and you have to market and sell and promote back to the general public. How do you intend doing that? Um, well, first off, um, it's, it's not my call. It's, it's, it's the, the women's call. And I'm here mentoring them, mm -hmm. coaching them and help them provide the right training so mm. they actually target the right target group. So, so of course I have my idea and I, I did my market research mm. so I went to Georgetown, walked around in the shops, asked for which products they like, which is the mm. best selling product, what are the prices mm. they're using. Mm. Um, so I do that in Georgetown, I've done it along the Esquibo coast mm. um, and then I just sit down with the ladies and ask them how they think, how you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and. You know, I let them talk and I listen and I ask questions and hopefully by asking the right questions I and so far, manage to get them, get them on the right track. So far, what but, are the ideas in terms of meeting general public? Well, one of the things we, we've done is just taking the ladies to the supermarkets mm -hmm. um, and just showing them in the supermarkets, mm -hmm. okay, this is how, a super, of course they know what a supermarket looks Correct. like, mm -hmm. but trying to un give them the dynamics mm -hmm. of a supermarket, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of what... Mm. Kind of shell space that you right. have, which is, right. this is eye and level packaging or low end. Right. Packaging, and, and which, which product is selling mm. good? Correct. And they're looking at the different types mm. of packaging. I say, ah, oh, this is nice. Say, okay, can you explain me why you think it's nice? Right, right. And just take them really step by step. Um, Was, what appeals to them? Did you have a hand in actually getting the pepper sauces on the shelf? Um, well, what we've done in um, the supermarkets. W what is a good thing with the uh, the Pomeroy's women's groups? Mm. Um, they actually do road sales. Okay. themselves so um, I, I went with them on the road sale um, and they just go with their products in the back of the truck um, to the different supermarkets along the coast and they're selling their products directly to the supermarket directly to the supermarkets. That's, yeah, that's pretty good that that's so a great cool. thing yeah. um, so in, in, in those terms uh, I've assisted them um, okay. once again it's they're doing all the work mm -hmm. and I'm just there helping them um, guiding them the guiding way, them the way. when there were some mm -hmm. issues you know there, there were some products that weren't sold that, mm -hmm. that were over date Right. So there was like, um, what do we do with them now? So I just advised them of how you could deal with a, a similar a situation like that. Which and are you talking about expiration dates? Expiration dates, yes. And how are they handling that? Well, they said, all right. Um, how are they preserving it to, for a longer shelf life? Well, that, 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 that's, um, you know, their food processing, uh, what they're doing. And, and they tweak that? Um, no, no, no. They've they, they, they done all the, uh, the food handling. Mm. Uh, so so I, I, I'm not an expert on, on, on their whole thing. Right, that's part, part of it. So right. I don't know okay. what, what's their... Okay, okay. What there uh, is, <coughs> what they're expecting is mm. what, what they do. Um, but they have a shelf life for a year. Mm -hmm. um, and for, for instance, this supermarket didn't sell all the uh, seasoning sauce. So okay. it's just like, oh, okay. so what happened? And they said, right, yeah, it was on the shelf people. down here. Mm -hmm. I said, all right, mm -hmm. it makes a little bit more sense than mm -hmm. why it wasn't it sold that much. Yeah. So we, we talk to the supermarket people as well. When you, when mm -hmm. you ask them, we give them on-the-spot on the training, mm -hmm. asking them for promotion and mm -hmm. uh, what they can do. Um, train the supermarket people to actually, when they help the customers come in, to actually sell the product, mm -hmm. actually say what the benefits are of this mm -hmm. product, why the price is the way mm -hmm. it is. Um, so that's what we're doing as well. That's what we're doing on the road sale. And what's your next strategy in terms to market in here in Guyana um, for them? Of course, I, I understand it's based on their ideas and what they want to do, mm -hmm. but being that you're in the sales and marketing field, what's your next point of focus? 
Um, well, you could do either do it if, via branding. Mm -hmm. um, one of the challenges here is, trans is, is, is transportation, okay. so your distribution network. Okay. Um, so we're, we're talking to different uh, bigger companies. Um, I do that, by the way. So just so you know, all right. That's yes. we do that. We do transportation all through. That's one of the reasons we're here yeah. throughout the interior, anywhere in the interior. All right. I'll give you a card. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good. Uh, yeah. It's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's one of the challenges they have is, is to getting their, their, their products to, uh, so it's to the, for instance, to the Georgetown to the market. Cause Correct. At, at, right. Uh, and that's the biggest market there is. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you can either do it by different ways. I mean, you got Sterling, which is a big company. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you can either sell private label, Correct. Um, what they sometimes are doing. So, for instance, um, or, uh, Blue Flame is working with uh, Northwest Organics. Okay. So Northwest Organics, make Organics, sure. Organics, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So make sure the products get into the Georgetown market. Mm -hmm. um, we could advise, like I said, we're working on the labels. Mm -hmm. They have their own label. Mm -hmm. um, and actually see if Northwest Organics wants to distribute for them. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's an option. That's in the works or that's something you're planning to do? That's what we're planning to do. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, so branding is, is one of the things which mm -hmm. I think will be good. Mm -hmm. um, that is and, and other awesome. than that, it's um, maybe just for them to find a, a distribution partner. Okay. We've got the Sterling products arrangement. And then they got the, the Sterling product arrangement, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sterling is actually um, distributing their products as well. Okay. So let's make sure you get access to the uh, uh, right range. To the Really cool. Who yeah. says Gan is not on the up and up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sterling products. Um, used to be one of the large manufacturers of soaps in Guyana. I remember Starlands. <laughs> exactly, those little um, mm -hmm. transparent looking mm -hmm. washing soaps that you had way back mm -hmm. in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And because of competition and imports, that market started to die down them. Mm -hmm. So they've started to diversify into a lot of different areas. By using their branding um, and their name. Basically. And they have the infrastructure as well because mm -hmm. they have all the distribution trucks, mm -hmm. um, they have lab facilities mm -hmm. um, that are underutilized, they have chemists in there, they have technicians in there. One of the things that we've been trying to do with Sterling um, is to work closely with them to see whether we can use some of those technical facilities mm -hmm. um, in our groups. Mm -hmm. So like you were talking about preserving uh, pepper for example. Correct. Mm -hmm. So you guys have already have, you have qualified chemists right. in your labs, right? right? Um, we can draw on the experience and expertise of those guys right. to help our women's group right. in terms of food preservation mm -hmm. and quality control. Um, Sterling currently distributes the soap for the Winey group. So the Winey group now, what they previously... That's the crab wood soap. That's the crab wood oil soap. Okay. So they now produce it in the big bars like this. Mm -hmm. Sterling picks it up, takes it back to their facility, chops it up into 100 gram bars, mm -hmm. uh, put the labels on it, and distribute it through. And whose label are they using? Sterling? They are using, um, they are using a Winey label. Yeah. They are using, um, they are using a Winey label. So you can label. use your own branding. So yes, you can Sterling, use your branding as well. Huge. Okay. Right? Um, in some other cases, because there's another group, well, not another group. Uh, in Pomeroon, there's one lady who branched off into coconut water. Right? That's kind what of you were similar drinking. to this. Um, okay. No, this, this, this is another product that I found in the shelves here, but this is manufactured in Shell Beach, which is not very far away. I think I may be taking a trip there. Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, but there's a, um, there's a Pomeroon woman um, or woman who does it. And um, she sells it to Sterling Products. But what they do is they've put their own label on it. But in the card it says produced by Henville Farms for Sterling Products. So her brand is Henville Farms. Okay. Um, she was happy with that. Sterling probably has a big vision of what they want to do with it. So they wanted their own label. Right, right, um, right, right. So it's sort of a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll probably put their label on it and mm -hmm. sometimes... They'll allow you to do um, to do yours, to but do you're your still accredited label. in some form. Yes, right. they will acknowledge that it is made by right. X and Y right. for right. so and so. Um, so that arrangement has been but going really. Isn't that legally uh, required? Instead of it is. It I was going to say it's not so much sterling that's being. <coughs> it is legally required. Yeah. To well, it's, it's not really yeah. an option. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. So um. So that's been going really well. Um. 
So Sterling also picks up um, the coconut water at charity. So Vilma's farm is somewhere in the Parman River. So she would bring it out to charity, the trucks would pick it up there. Same thing with the soap. Annie and Greg, Winey will get the soap down to the Parman River. And for instance, the coconut water, she just distributed it in drums, she's bottling it first. How is she She bottles it like this. Oh, and then ship the bottles she out. She bottles it like this. And they just label it. And then, yeah, they have given her um, a reefer container. Okay. okay. Um, so she packs it in there. Mm -hmm. She keeps it cool or frozen. Mm -hmm. And then she'll just take it down to charity. The trucks come in, pick it up, ship it off to Georgetown. Okay. Um, so that's, that's happening. Um, we're looking to move that relationship to the next level. Um, and just to note, this is one of the women's group one branched off independently yes. and acquire a contract with Sterling. There you go. That's um, women like call. I always say to people, sometimes <clears throat> we tend to measure success by looking at economic values, but there's a lot of other things that you don't see. You right. don't see the confidence, right. you don't see the motivation, you don't right. see the self-belief. Right. And Wilma will tell you that she was able to do what she's doing on her own because of the exposure, the self-confidence, the training that she received mm -hmm. from CUSO and VSO. Mm -hmm. Nice. Right? And, and, and that often doesn't get reflected. Just to note again, is she one of the people that also didn't finish school, but you guys were able to educate her to a business level to branch off independently? Well, as far as I know, never finished secondary school. Okay. Yes. Um, and it, most of the women... Um, are in that position as well. Okay. There was one woman in Pomeroon who said she could have hardly read and write mm -hmm. um, a couple of years ago. We took a guy out of India, one of our volunteers went down and spent two years with them. Mm -hmm. In two years she became the bookkeeper. Wow. As wow. professional as anybody else. Wow. Keeping books right? and didn't she finish became the primary school. <laughs> right? um, and she's happy to do it and she's full of confidence now. Yeah. You know? So, um, so those are some of the things that you don't get measured on, right? Correct. That doesn't get reflected in the figures. Yes, yes, not that yes. in sense. Yes. But it's empowering. It is. Um, we spoke to one guy in Moweto. Um, tears almost came to his eyes. He was talking about the changes that he saw in his wife. Mm -hmm. How confident she was, how assertive she was. Um, he said... You know, I, I'm so happy. I can see the changes. We live together. Mm. You know, um, and so these are some of the things that, you know, make us proud in terms of the support that we provide to you. And this is all yeah. voluntary. And it's all voluntary. Yeah, and it's <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Thanks, guys. You want to see the company name one more time? Um, it is QSO, Canadian Outfit. My name is Clive. Um, I live in Toronto these days, but I'm formerly from Guyana as well. Okay, your name? And well, my name is Vestin, and once again, I'm from the Netherlands, and working for Cuso International. Thank you guys so much for helping out, and thank you guys for giving back to beautiful Guyana. No worries. No worries, man. You're more than welcome, and good luck with your work as well. I mean, you've got a role to play in out of this. Yes, thank so you. So we're all in this together, right? Yes, we <laughs> are. Thank you. Yes, we are. Thank you so much. All right. All right.